Hello, welcome to the channel. In this video, I will show you how to play Age of the Ring 7.3.1 and the submod Realms of Exile at the same time. Let's start. In this video, we will install the mode and the updater. So, in the first step, we need to download Age of the Ring the version 8.0, then 8.1 and finally 8.2. I reckon grouping all the files we need in a single folder. Let's click in the zip age of the ring 8.0 and put extract. The process may take some time, depending on how good is your PC. Amazing, the charge is done, now we have one folder. Now, to clicks in the folder and let's see what we find. We have an installer application, very simple. But before install we need to do something else. We need to go to local disk C, then program files by 86. Nicely done. You see that I have two screens that are in the same location. Now we need to create no folder inside of program files by 86. We call this age of the ring 8.0 and we press enter. Excellent work. Once we have this, we need to go to where we have the files that we downloaded. In my case the files are on local disk D. Files Lord of the Rings download, I recommend creating a folder and grouping everything within it. It's time to install this version. Let's do right click and run as administrator. It's very important that in this step, we need to change the location and click in browse. We need to find the folder that we create before. The name is age of the ring 8.0. Once we have this, let's click in next and finally next again. Now maybe take some time to install. Fantastic! Now we have installed the version 8.0 of Age of the Ring. We can check out what he have inside of this folder. It seems very good. All files are here. Now we need to go back to install version 8.1 and finally 8.2. We must do this which is very important. We need to extract Age of the Ring 8.1 updater. Once we have the extracted folder, we must enter inside. Select all files and click copy. Once we have the copy of these files, we must go to the page of the ring 8.0 folder, then AOTR 8.0 and finally IOTA. Now we press Ctrl V to paste the files. Click and do this for all current items and press continue. Good, the files are inside. So now we need to install this updater. Press the right click of your mouse and Run as administrator. Click on update. We finally have version 8.1 installed. We can delete this. It is no longer useful to us. We repeat the same steps for the age of the ring 8.2 updater.
Well done people of Middle Earth, we now have 8 point to installed. We are very close, a few steps more. I will order the versions of Age of the Ring so you can see what we have already done so far. In this last step, we need to install the Age of the Ring submod called Realms in Exile. We must understand that it only works with version 8.2. Let's get started. Let's go to Program Files x86 and we need to copy the Age of the Ring 8.0 folder and paste it into this location. This maybe takes some time. Great, so now we have two folders with the same name. Where we have the folders, we press right click in the folder called Realms in Exile 0 point for and, then rename. Finally we press copy or control C. Next we need to click and rename the copy folder. From Age of the Ring 8.0, so now we press control V or click paste, and now. We rename this folder which is called Realms in Exile 0.4. We need to remove the symbols and be careful with the spacing of words. Ok guys, this is the final step. We need to extract the Realms in Exile updater. Once the extract is made, we must enter this folder to check that we only have one application, if everything is fine, then. We need to finally extract the folder realms in Exile 0.4. Great now, we need to copy all the files that we have and. Paste them into the realms in Exile 0.4 folder that we have in Program Files x86. The path is Program Files x86, Realms in Exile 0.4, then IOTA 8.0 and, finally IOTA, inside of this last we need to paste. We click on Replace the files in this destination. And we do this for all the current items. When we do this, we press Continue. Our last step is finally here. We need to enter inside the folder called Realms in Exile Updater and copy that application and paste to the folder. Realms in Exile 0.4, when we have that, we click in Continue. We open that application. We run it as administrator and a window opens. Don't be scared. It will be updating to the most recent version. We press Enter 2, Exit and close this. This says that a shortcut was created on the desktop. I'm going to delete this because it's already done. And of course to clean up my desktop. Now we have the Realms in Exile shortcut and the updater. Let's click on Realms in Exile updater to complete. The installation. Great, we press enter to close this.
Let's see if work, we open realms in XR 0.5. It seems to really work. You can play online, I recommend Gamma Ranger. We have a community for that. Okay, let's try it. I'll choose the Kyriador faction. I'm a big fan of elves. Where should we build? Look at this, the Kyriador faction is divided. So I think I'll try the Kingdom of Gilgalad. I have building supplies. Building supplies coming. There is work to be done. Build up this land. I'm curious about the powers. Let's see what they have. I see that the power tree is divided into two. If you choose one, you get a part. The Grey Haven seems like a power to start with. We have a new orchard. Unfurl the bright banners of Gilgalad. The orchard has been supplies. Coming through. Let's see the heroes that this kingdom has. I choose Galadriel. It looks like it is based on the series. I prefer not to give my opinion on the series. It will be for another video. I'll turn off the music so everyone can hear the Tami and stuff. I like the powers it has. I would have to see it in detail. If you want me to upload videos on how to use each faction of realms in exile, comment faction and name, example Misty Mountain faction. Building materials. It is time to build. Elven Look, the Elven Barracks. It seems to have a variety of warriors, for example, the Loring Warriors. You have not Galadriel has arrived. She have. seems like a very good model oh. to me. I congratulate whoever made this. Let's see the powers she has. These lands are dead. Evil does not sleep, Elrond. Well, we, we tried it. Middle it's work. The units. The heroes and other things. I will leave the game. But before that, let's look at the configuration and we can see the version. As promised, now let's see if it works. With the most recent Age of the Ring, which is version 8.31, let's open it.
As you can see, it works, but let's look carefully. We can see the version 8.3.1. I chose Rivendell, one of my favourite factions to test. The fortress appears to be the same as the Submod. But what changes here is that it is not divided into two kingdoms. There is only the kingdom of Elrond. The powers are same like realms in exile. Maybe other is different, but here seems good. For those who didn't see, I'm we recruiting Gilda. He's a good hero to start with this faction, if he's surrounded by hobbits. Took archers and bounders right. increase his attack productivity among other things. I am Gildjols, son of Ingvar of the Coming House through. of Ingvar. Hope is not lost. Building materials. I will create Breland in Catmut. Here you can recruit hobbits and Breland Townsguard. Let's I see can. Gilda's powers. He's really good. I show you the powers. We can see them in detail for another video. We have a new building supplies. It is time to build. There is beauty yet unmarred by the shadow. The wandering companies are on watch. I'll recruit Anybody some hobbits. Is ready. There is I beauty yet unmarred by the shadow. You are not alone. The building is now finished. Ready your tools. Coming from the Orchard has Shire. been planted. Everyone have a rock ready. Everything seems to be working correctly. I'll get out now. That's all people from Middle Earth. I hope it has been useful to you, if you like it, share it, like it and of course subscribe. I'm Palanta Pointers, until next time.